Ladies and gentlemen, the two and a half amigos. God, these guys are loco. If you're looking for a responsible, mature podcast, this ain't it. If you're looking for a lot of drinking, random nonsense, stunts and shenanigans, and some of the hottest comedians in the world, you've hit the jackpot. It's the two and a half amigos with your hosts, Albert, Scott, and Mark. Hello, hello, hello. Promos. Live at the Cash Now Homes. You know that? Expanse Real Estate Team. Why are you not? Area. Technical difficulties. Is it not over here? There, there you go. Now. Come on, dude. They're really? All, they're all fucked up. That's why. All right. So really back do? into this. Back into this. That's what happens when we were here on Saturday. Go for it, right. buddy. Go ahead. All right, so right now we're live at our Cash Now Homes Expanse Real Estate Team office. Promos are Cash Now Homes. Buy, sell homes fast. Sell in less than seven days. Call 602-975-3920 or go to cashnowhomesaz.com to make your home goals possible. Expanse Real Estate Team, looking for your next dream house to buy, sell? Contact the Expanse Real Estate Team at gmail.com looking for studio time to record podcast stand up act joke writing social media filming for um anything that you need to grow your business or <laughs> jokes whatever absurd broad <laughs> contact us at absurd broadcasting <laughs> at gmail.com for specials prices and to schedule today Searching for custom t-shirts, decals, or any items of your personal or business needs, check out Redhead Printing on Facebook and redheadprinting at gmail.com. Use Amigos to save 10% of your next order. Promos. 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 El Promos. El Promonos. El Promero. Yeah. So, so yeah, we're at our new office. I hear Echo is again. Yeah, you hear it? What if I... It's probably not... Hey, it's probably phone? not. I don't know. Headphones you're at. What's that? I'm on. Does that go know. down? Is it lower? There you go. Oh, you don't hear it? Oh, that was you then. Do you hear the echo? What, what about what? you? Uh, no, ooh, still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little That's better. That's better. Oh, it's this one. How about now? I hear nothing now. Okay. You don't even hear them? Nothing? That's Me? better now. You hear you now. There you do go. You hear, do you hear an echo? Uh, not so much. It's, echo, it's echo, almost echo. like when I talk. That's because you got a lot of space behind you. Could be that. Yeah. <clears throat> Way to go, dude. Yep. Anyway, yeah, it's your guys' fault. The new, well, Albert's fault. Our new office. <clears throat> yeah, my fault. So, don't sound we, uh, entertained or anything. Yeah, anymore. no. Are you what? You not having fun? Me? Yeah, I'm always having fun. We'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. So let's talk about we moved to a new, lo- new location. That's kind of what our hap- happened on our weekend, right? Yeah, it was our weekend news. Yeah, our weekend you news. Turn your- Hello. Don't tell me what so, to do, bro. <laughs> so, oh, actually, are talk, you in like a mood today or I know, what? Are you mad? What happened? Excuse you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why, why am I? Why was, do I have to be in a bed? Why, bro? Was your that light, was it, <laughs> really, bro? You don't need to get out, bro. <laughs> was your light rail ticket like not? You couldn't. Okay, he dropped me off in the corner. They wouldn't let him back in, bro. <laughs> You couldn't, you couldn't ride anymore on the light rail. That's why you're mad. And I have to meet the contractor here and everything. It's, I know. It's ridiculous. It okay. is ridiculous. <laughs> Mondays. You're like Garfield. You're like a Mexican Garfield. Right? <laughs> See, Garfield. Paco said we sound great, no echo. Oh, weird. See, it's weird. I, I, oh, I think it's just <laughs> you, Scott. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure Paco thinks that as well. <laughs> I told Thanks, you, dude, it, it doesn't come out. In the, I know. When, in the thing. when we did our record oh, on Saturday, it. it doesn't. So we moved to a new location. Two well, offices down from where we were, but we are in a bigger location. Good job. All right. <laughs> Next. Just, this guy has a small echo. Um, oh, can you hear it? Okay. <laughs> that's not the only thing. Sm- small sky. That's says, true, guys. Oh, no, no, he said Sean has a small echo. Oh, sure. no, just Thanks, listen, Pablo. Listen, yeah, listen here, Pablo. <laughs> How's Jacob he doing? Said Scott. He said Scott. One, one love, buddy. One love. Uh, we love you all about that. <laughs> So, yeah, so we're in the new spot. Yep. We like it so far. We've only been here a couple of days. 
Uh, Albert once again got out of moving. He left it up to the two white guys to move for us. Yeah, yeah what do we call our business? The white guys. Oh, the Transformers. The, tra- yeah, the trans. Two, trans- two guys. Two trans yeah. in a truck. Or two Transformers. Two Transformers. Show up <laughs> and they move your. They move <laughs> your <laughs> shit. <laughs> so I can turn to whatever you need to get Optimus your shit. Prime. Yeah. And what Mega, was it? Megatron. Megatron. Yeah. <laughs> so that'd be our that's our business don't take it don't steal it <laughs> two two trans trans in a truck yeah right that'd be awesome we just gotta get we gotta get who's who owns is it mattel or the, the who, owns the, who owns the that's, that's hasbro isn't it? hasbro oh, yeah so we need hasbro's approval for so how do you know what, what owns what i knew I, yeah, yeah you got too, too much time on your hands bro no know. no that's hasbro bro <laughs> He knows toys. Dude. I Look, know a lot. He's a toy I, guy. He's a no, toy guy. I, just, I know a lot of like useless information. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we like know. We, we could be like out and about, and I'd be like, "Oh, you know how tall that building is?" Yeah. I don't know why I know that. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> that is yeah. <laughs> that that is something. I, I, it just I retain information. Like I forget yeah. it immediately. But then, like if we're having this conversation right now, I, right. oh yeah, Hasbro owns that. Like it's. I don't know, dude. It happens. My long-term memory is great. My short-term memory sucks. It's not so good. Yeah. So you guys on Friday, you guys play poker. You guys did. You didn't invite me. Oh, so yeah. fuck you guys for that. But who won? Did you guys win? Who Let's won? be honest. Could you really have won? Probably not. Because we gave you. Yeah, we didn't. There Probably wasn't not. a three-week was, notice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know my fort. My what yeah. is it? For, Fortnite. Not Fortnite. Fort. Uh, it is Fortnite. Fort. Fort, <laughs> yeah. Fortnite mm-hmm. notice. Go on. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I, there wasn't enough notice for me to even go, anyways. Let's be real. You just got you just wanted to be mad, yeah. I want to be, yeah, you just want to be mad, yeah, just want to be mad to you guys. His attitude's rubbing off on you, yeah. I know oh, what's he, damn, well, fuck the light rail. <laughs> You're right. Uh, <clears throat> and actually, and I, so who won? You didn't tell me who won. It was it one of you guys uh, or no, somebody else? Hosted. Somebody else, yeah. yeah, the guy that hosted won. Yeah, he did. I was doing really well for a while. Well, that first picture then, you sent was yeah. shit. It was bad, but then you sent one that looked like you were doing better. No, then, yeah. So you were like, shit, what? and then better, and then towards the end, I was just done, dude. Yeah. I just like I same, just same here because it was late. Yeah, I yeah. played a huge risky hand. Me Guy too. Fucking hit a jack for trips, and I'm like motherfucker, and yeah. then yeah, I, was I like done. lost it, it all. We had we started at six six thirty seven. We started drinking at six. It, the, well, we got there at got six. This, yeah. yeah, we got there at six. I drank yeah. a whole bottle of tequila. So yeah, about well, by definitely. seven we started, and it was what ten of us. Yeah, oh, there was good. ten. Yeah, it was yeah. good. It was a good size pod, dude. Wow, it would have been worth it. Yeah. Had we given you a fortnight notice? Yeah, I needed three. I mean, uh, they they told me the day before too. Yeah, Chris, like Thursday, Friday. Uh, well, Monday. we're actually men where we can be like, oh, hey, true, yeah, I'm going to go do that. I'm, I don't true. need to tell my wife three weeks in advance. This fucking guy. <laughs> this fucking guy. What, is he lying? <laughs> you fucking, <laughs> this <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> fucking, next time I'm just going to go. I, I, just go, I, yeah, I got here a little bit late. Let me go get a little drink. Oh, yeah, go ahead. What the yeah. fuck? No, we'll, we, we got some guy. stuff we got to talk do, about anyway. Uh, yeah. Do we? Yeah. What me and you talking about? Yeah, remember we guest starred on Small Town Mentality. Oh yeah, that was a so good show. Make sure you guys check that out. We definitely talk shit about yeah about that. Did we? I don't think. Yeah, we did. there was a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. I don't think so. There is about two minutes missing from that episode where we talked about Black Jesus and how we praise him, but. but and how such no, how it was such a good show, that too, right? And yeah, then, and then also I, Black I, Jesus in itself. Yeah, no, yeah. I think it was a good episode. I thought it was good. It was basically turn the mics on and go. Yeah. So that was different for us. Normally we have a an agenda, an agenda. something structured. Yeah. So that was kind of different. We were so all we, over the place though. Which is normal, which is kind of like now we're structured and still all over the fucking place. Albert yeah. just got up and left. We we're in the middle that of a fucking like thing. sounds like a podcast with extra steps. Yep. <laughs> we, that, that was a good callback yeah. from that episode. So make sure you guys go check out Small Town Mentality. Uh, we took over their podcast basically this yeah, last week. The, we, we were the subs. We were the fill-ins. Mm. We were called in. Yep. We were called like, here, duty. we're just going to draw shit on the board, not do homework. Yeah. Turn to page 85 and just read it and leave me alone. And we just ran with it. It was yep. pretty good. It was good. So, yeah, so the I guess let's we'll jump into our show. Or do you want to wait for Albert? Or I don't know. What do you want to do? Uh, well, we're kind of like stuck. We're live right now, dude. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> well, that's... How do the newscasters do it? Oh, go to... Uh, We're fucking live right go, now, dude. Go to camera nine, <laughs> live in the field. So here was, here was one story that I've not on the board. We'll just talk about it here. 
I saw this when I was going through the news. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so this dude, this guy in Vietnam, I'm not even going to say the city, but basically this dude is, he has Guinness Book World Record of the most whiskeys, the best collection in the world. So his whiskey collection, he has 535 old bottles. Used? His, no, they're not even They're open. just old. Okay, just, they're just yeah. old, non-opened bottles. The, the value of them is $16 million. Mm-hmm. For those bottles he's got three of them like the apparently they're called the the holy grail of whiskey which is like the mccullen mckellen okay you know what i'm talking about the really expensive shit and it's a night he has three bottles of a 1926 rare whiskey which is what that one is and so i have I just, a rare whiskey too do you no oh do you like whiskey oh uh, yeah, like whiskey. yeah i'll drink it not your favorite i know tequila you go to but i thought that was pretty crazy because what would you do if you had, let's just say, a really good, expensive, crazy bottle? We did. Uto- Utopia was out here. We drink, no, I know. I would drink it. Was, yeah. not for, we did, I'm just talking about because that one wasn't that, that good. Could, yeah, to say that I, I'm not going to buy something just super cheap. keep unique. it. Yeah, that's yeah. Right, What are you guys yeah. talking about? There's oh, hey, what'd you get here? fucking bunch of whiskey. Yeah, this dude, so this isn't on the board, but it was something I saw before we started. This dude has a Guinness Book or World Record of the most rarest collection of whiskey oh wow pretty cool so he has 535 bottles he's in vietnam is where he's at it's valued at 16 million dollars he's got what? yeah <laughs> he's got three no of them. freaking way he's got three of them that are considered like the the holy grail of whiskey wow yeah and i yeah. think a lot of them are not open i mean based on the picture you can see like look how fucking fancy and nice oh wow that's not, it was 16 million 16 yeah 16 million yeah, yeah. I don't care if it's six million. That's, that's still, still a lot of whiskey. Still a lot of whiskey. Yeah. Dude, what the fuck? So what does he drink? You think he just drinks like fucking shit whiskey? Oh just yeah. Just bottom shelf, and then just, he, he just has all that. Yeah, he just collects. Yeah, he just collects. Collects the, the. I wonder if he ever like you know you know like the main ones like the Holy Grail ones. Yeah. Um. If yeah, at least. I wonder if he tried them or they're open. That's, what, they I mean, lost that's what I was saying. Like, what would if you they do lost if you had value? One? What would you do if you had one? Like oh, that's crazy. If yeah. I had three of them, I would have one to drink. Yeah, but the question is, you know, they're gonna cost a lot. That's true. So, so that's, is he gonna like, buy two of them, just one for just to have, and the other one to drink? So let's say one of those is worth. Let's just say that those three are like a million dollars each. Is it is like it, one sip or a shot? Is like so the guy must be wealthy though. I would, well, I would hope so. Yeah. I mean, he's not fucking in the rice fields shit. and. He's in foreclosure, he's a, but he has a sixteen million dollar <laughs> whiskey list. Yeah, I, yeah, that's, that's no. I mean, he's gotta, got he's got to be wealthy. I, I would, yeah, I, I would, would assume. Yeah. So he would, that. he probably has money to buy two of them, one for the collection and one for himself to try. I mean, you have to, if you're collecting whiskey, you have to have tried all of them. Yeah, you can't yeah. just buy whiskey and be like, ah, oh, well, this. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So he must be wealthy enough to be able to buy two of them at the same time or whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. So apparently, okay. So I was kind of right. I was close. So a million? It's one point two for one of those bottles. No freaking way. So one point two for one of those nineteen twenty six McCollin whiskeys. Wow. So he's got three of them. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, he's wealthy. Dude, yeah, yeah, course. he's definitely wealthy. That's Let's pretty... not be jealous, guys. Yeah, come on. Why not? I can't no, wait. I don't want to be jealous. I'm, I'm just like, well, I'll, just go get, I'll go get one when I'm I have when I actually make enough money to do that. Would you buy one of those? I wouldn't. I would. I'm not a whiskey. I'm not a whiskey I, drinker. I guess if I had tons of money to fucking blow, why not? Yeah. But like, if I wouldn't go out of my if way. If I made a million you know dollars saying? a year, I wouldn't want that. Yeah, this either. dude has to be super rich for that. Because yeah. he got it cheap as shit. Well, I wouldn't. If I had that type of money, I just I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. But like, if I was at a yeah. social or some shit, because you know, oh, we, uh, we were in the fifties. Uh, what was the other part? Because you we were you guys were on small town mentality. Were we the fill-ins? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. This guy was I wasn't teachers. there, so no, you had to go. You yeah, had I had to go for ten yeah. minutes. I had some serious business to take care of. Uh. Is yeah. that what the toilet said? No, Costco was closing at eight, dude. Oh yeah, you had to fucking Costco go shopping. Around. You're like, I need my turkey. I need all this other okay. stuff. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. They were still open. So since, since we mentioned they Paco a few me. times, I don't have my little button where I could just plug this in the audio, but. Hey, this is Albert from the two and a half of me. Oh, you're playing the drops. I listen to two dudes repeat their names over and over each episode. I listen to yeah about that. <laughs> it's so funny. Nice. If you check out their episode, they played all the drops that we did. Nice. That's pretty good. 
Awesome. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> that is good. When they coming back on the show? This is Scott from the Two and a Half Amigos. That's a good We're question. to Pablo and Jacob from Yeah About That. These guys also like sour cream on tamales. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff, guys. They did do an interview with a local comedian slash hip hop guy, yeah. uh, or a couple of them, and they asked. And, they asked, and one sour guy cream. was all like. Actually, that sounds interesting. I'm going to try it. Oh, we're, yeah. we're winning people over. Yeah, not in that fancy of a, of a tone. But right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the, the other funny thing that happened, I think even before we had this whole sour cream on tamale thing. Yeah. Is I have, I have a son that's in high school and he was talking to his friends at lunch. Okay. About sour cream and tamale? About, well, no, it was about when he does sour cream, we do like burrito night. Like, okay. like eating burritos, right? Yeah. Taco night, but it's burrito, whatever. And we put sour cream on the burritos and shit. And yeah. everybody at lunch was like, what the fuck what is the wrong fuck? with you? Why do you put sour cream on your burritos? Now, here, here's so, one thing. But th- th- I'm like thinking that's, I don't know. I, I thought that shit was normal. Well, okay. It, it, I guess it's, it's, it's normal. It's a type of burrito. Dude. Yeah. And it's it, normal like with Taco Bell, Del Taco. Yeah. But like. Hispanics and they don't yeah. do that. No, no, they don't put sour cream in. The I'm burrito. not. I'm not going to get a carne asada burrito. I'm not I put putting sour, cr- yeah, sour no. cream. Hell no, I'm not putting sour. I do that. Yeah. Get, get that? the fuck out of my office. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know I do that. We used to go to lunch together. Yeah. Uh, no. No, but it, I mean, if I get. Uh, I, uh, no, that's why I understand why their his friends were like, "What?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, well, but then again, we, we, but then when again, we do, when taco night, we do like the ground beef. Yeah, so, so that's, that's what yeah, we that's do. Like, it's more yeah. sin. Like, yeah, that's what I'm though. saying. Use but that's what I'm saying. Do, it's more like a, Taco Bell, yeah, Del Taco. Yeah. They put sour cream on, yeah. on their stuff. So. Make, to make it no, no, better. not on everything. No, they charge extra for that. Yeah, it's a supreme. So to yeah, there you go. Supreme it up. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like a ground beef tacos, yeah, yeah. burritos. Since we're bringing up sour cream iron tamales, I think we've already mentioned this a couple times already, though, but we're going to the tamale festival in Summerton yeah. Yeah. on December 21st. So anybody that's going to end up going to that, make sure you come to our little tent or just try to find us. Yeah. We're going to be lost in 30,000 people. Yes. <laughs> There's that many people there? Dude, last uh, what the year before? Yeah, like thirty thousand. The thirty thousand wow. people. Yeah, well, they have they have a lot of stuff going on all day. Oh yeah. Yeah, they have the tamale eating contest. La Bamba. La say, Bamba's gonna be there. <laughs> yes. No, and then they have some some With big time. Crash. They, always, they always have some big time music, musicians. <laughs> Spanish La Bamba. Yeah, yeah. La Bamba. <laughs> cover your cover, fucking cover band La Bamba's. <laughs> It's it really the fuck out of here. It's really it's <laughs> really problem. fucking uh, what's his face uh, Neil Diamond not Neil Diamond Neil Patrick Harris no not Neil Patrick Harris <laughs> fucking what's he who played La Bama oh I guess uh, I guess you and you and Paco have something in common what did he say he said he loves sour cream on burritos see As oh, unless he's lying shit. is he lying mm-hmm. see that's why you guys don't like each other because we're too much alike yeah, yeah like a lot that. see Paco yeah, says I go to Filiberto's like him- and tell them to add sour cream on carne asada. I do Paco, same. you're not allowed. We, we gotta have here. a conversation. I do the same thing, homie. Anymore. See that we're yeah. friends now. You are now Paco. See, you guys both do have an extra chromosome. We we are both. <laughs> we both wear helmets. <laughs> hey, we can share, dude. Me and you, buddy. <laughs> an extra chromosome. <laughs> we can share. Coming from the guy who fucking loves cheese. <laughs> this guy. I'll put cheese on everything. I know. Man. It's bad. It's bad how much you know. I'll put cheese That's on why you made the whole shit. office fucking smell like cheese. Oh. I, don't know how I, did. I didn't even do that, dude. I was just kidding. Because <laughs> no, you're talking it's, shit. It smells yeah. like piss somewhere, dude. Did you did it? Yeah. No, I didn't smell no, it. I put the plug in, but I can't really smell the, the plug in. I think oh, this okay. shit, a body wants to die in our new office. That's why we're going to smell it. Hey, this one's not haunted. The doors aren't closing by themselves or anything like that. Yet. Oh, uh, see, we could have like stayed in the old office and seen like if like it really was haunted. Poltergeist. Oh, do you like a lights oh, out? Oh, the keys. Everywhere. Oh, by the way, like a lights out car. situation oh. where we kind of just sit around and just listen. Yeah, yeah, something with, like that with the mics on. <laughs> we do like <laughs> a paranormal fuck, yeah, episode. Yeah, be fucking scary. Knock twice if you're in the room. <laughs> fucking someone's under here. Fucking. Around. Come on, Paco. What do you mean is the American way? You're What's not that? even American. <laughs> is he not? <laughs> you hear that, Paco? <laughs> Okay, moment of silence, guys, for that. Yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. It was for America, I guess. Yeah. Taco for... killed America. Ah, so, moment Taco. of silence. All right, well, let's get into the normal agenda. Yeah, let's, let's jump into our sh- sh- shindig. slew of things. So, first story we'll talk about in our crazy news situation. So, there was a high school 
that had a one of their coaches, he'd make them go run laps and shit. And like basically like, hey, you guys, you know, when you're not listening on the field or whatever, and yeah. the kids that he were like dicks, he'd make them obviously do extra shit, which is normal, right? What coaches do. <laughs> and apparently he would go into their fucking lockers and steal money from their wallets and shit. Oh yeah. That so was a... somebody set up like a like a GoPro a or a yeah. camera, right? Yeah. In one of these fucking ring things. Caught him in. Caught him stealing. Well, well, the coach would actually when they found out no, before they found out it was a coach, yeah. the coach made everybody run laps. Oh, that's what it was. To to punish them for you know for <laughs> not more yeah for, for for not admitting or who, for who did it. Yeah, who did it. <laughs> so like you're all gonna run laps because until we find out who did it. And they ended up putting in a camera and they found out that he's the one that he's did the one that's doing it. And he was it. making them run laps to because Well, because you know they all talk to each other like, no, dude, I didn't do yeah. it. Yeah, I didn't yeah. do it. And even like even even the kid that they think would have done it. And he like has well, a straight in his yeah. He probably got beat up oh, really yeah. good He's once. Like, I swear, I, I swear, I was it. man. And maybe it wasn't this fucking dude. Yeah, nah, somebody it's should fix his nose. Fix yeah, his, his arms I'm broken. Fix shit. his nose. Well, they, I'm just assuming they whooped his ass. Yeah, and they broke beat him bad. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So he was stealing forty dollars from players' wallets, stuff and stuff. Forty dollar, dude. You, it, the education tough. system is that bad. You don't get paid enough for that. Like, I don't think coaches make that kind of money. No, getting good money. It sucks. That, that's their you know, side. Teachers, that's their side piece, though. Like, I know because they teach like physical education, and that's oh, their main yeah. money. And then the the sports is their side piece of the action. Whether well, there's that or they have like normal jobs, right, or real jobs, yeah. right, and yeah. then they do this shit yep. too. Yeah, because that's what happened at my son's schools at Highland. They were stealing money. And, no, not that. Oh, oh, yeah, they not, were. Not that. Oh, not that. No, part, what I'm but saying they is, did, they a were. lot of them, a lot of them do like. Like that's not their yeah, job, you yeah. know what I mean? But they were doing that, weren't they? Like the freaking owners of the at Highland. Oh no, 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 Highland, my, no, their other school. Yeah, no, that was the, that was the principals. Oh, the principals at the were embezzling, embezzling money. money, and that, that was a charter school. That wasn't. And they, they still let them keep it. The yeah, they afterwards. basically they didn't get fired or anything. It was just yeah, like well, they, they, they just got to pay it back. Pay it back. So <laughs> Can you what, that? Well, on a loan with no interest. Yeah, but Seriously? the thing is, but the thing is, they were embezzling money, and they still let them. Keep and run the school. They didn't so, press charges or anything. No, like and they keep and let them run the school too. So. Oh, what? Yeah, yes. they're still there. They're still yeah, there. It's fine. It's a, well, it's a charter school, so yeah, they're probably friends with the person that yes. owns the school. Yeah, exactly. Yes, they are. All right, guys, I get it. You I needed get it. some money because so you had to buy a new Porsche. You can't so. pay for my house and my health, my my fucking car insurance. Isn't that crazy though? My cardinal tickets. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, yeah. you work for free then for the next ten years. Yeah, for real. Fuck off. They're making big money too. Really? Those? Yeah. Big money. Like, well, it's a not, charter school. I know, so, yeah, which is I guess. crazy. Don't put your kids in charter schools. That's stupid. Yep. Learn that the, I was going to say, hard way. Fuck. Be like a Mormon and teach them at home. Yep. Don't let them see the light. At all, ever. Why? <laughs> why, do, why do that? Yeah. The world's full of shit garbage. It's true. Anyways. So, <laughs> yeah, he was, <laughs> so he was, he, so touch he, you much? Yeah. Who's mad now? Were you on the light rail too? <laughs> Fuck, yeah. dude. Oh, shit. Last time I was on a light rail, I got my this brother guy. got solicited by a fucking toothless meth addict. <laughs> nice. What was his name? Uh, her. Well, I don't. Yeah, you're right. Could I don't know. Been. It's questionable. Transformers, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get that far. You didn't know? No, yeah. we got off the next exit. <laughs> nice. But yeah, so man. he he got in trouble and he was held on two thousand dollar bond, which is that's it. A lot more than his forty dollars he was stealing. Yeah, but, he, but I'm sure he stole forty dollars over the. That's lifespan. true for a while. So. Must have been his first it was, offense. It was in New Mexico, is where it was. Yeah, then I can see he needs forty dollars. Yeah, so you know, I mean, look at Walter White, dude. He had to cook meth to fucking pay for his shit. That's imaginary. Oh, is it? It's real <laughs> life in my world. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, your teeth show it. <laughs> <laughs> I love meth, dude. Why not? <laughs> all right so what's the what's the next piece of garbage i mean next article. the next fun thing <laughs> piece of garbage what do you mean i'm just being an asshole <laughs> yeah, no that's it oh okay. yeah that's, what, what, they no, knew. that's know, always that's what do you mean yeah. this is a, i'm just being me guys I yeah hey, I know. I know. Hey, you're <laughs> hey. me bro so <laughs> You did okay, offend so, me earlier. Okay, so AK, I offended you. Yeah, yeah, that was my point. So yeah, okay, AK Mankos. <laughs> the Alaska. That's the Alaska. Oh, are thing. we gonna? 
Oh, the Alaska man. I'm oh. like, AK. What yeah, me AK too. Happened? I was like, like AK no. man. He got an AK. AK man got no, the Alaska, the Alaska man got caught with. Um, he had, oh, yeah. They found fucking some, cocaine and shit in, yeah, he in had uh, four, uh, the goat. A goat? Yeah, goat. So what made me laugh, <laughs> made me yeah. laugh about this was the dude was 71. Yeah. And he was smuggling 400,000 worth of heroin and meth. In a frozen goat intestine to the airport. Oh, at least it was dead. So yeah, that's true. I was thinking. You know what I thought of first? I thought of fucking Star Wars when they like they oh. cut it open and <laughs> yeah, and put the shit in there. And Sleep I don't know why. Here. I thought. That. Are you guys watching The Mandalorian? No, I haven't started watching. I watched it yet. two episodes. Right. Right. So it, it put it this way: I watched ten minutes of two episodes. Okay, that sounds that sounds all right. Right. No. So I th- I think it's good. Mm-hmm. Uh, it gives me like that Star Wars fix when a movie comes out. But I don't think it's December. worth. Yeah, I don't think it's worth the hype that they're. You know, everybody's fucking going nuts over. I'm somebody sorry. said. Somebody put. Who said that? If you're not watching that. Oh, fucking Santiago. Oh, Santiago. Yeah. I'm surprised it's not longer than thirty minutes. I mean, I get the idea that it's basically like a show and like yeah. quick, and they probably yeah. film the shit. I think ton it and should they just broke it out. I think it should be an hour. Yeah, I think it should be uh, uh, an hour. Yeah, that's what I think. Do you know who plays the Mandalorian? No. Peter Pascal, or not Peter, Pedro Pascal. Who's that? Obrian Martel from Game of Thrones. The Sand the Sand Prince. The one that came from Dorne. Dude, nope. really? You don't even watch the show? What's Game of Thrones? He's the badass that mm-hmm. fought the mountain. Oh. Oh, yo, okay, cool. I do <laughs> know that. That's the only scene you remember. I do, I do. Well, no, no, now it's all clicking now. Yeah. The gears now are you're turning. About, yeah. I was right with an extra chromosome. Look at this guy. He's fucking, he's got jokes today. No wonder you came an hour early so you can fucking prepare. Yeah, dude, I was writing this shit earlier. Of course you like, were. Ah, one chromosome. <laughs> one. The Mandalorian. One chromosome. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Can't wait to fucking say that. So what was going on with the goat? So, it, it, so basically, so it was it's, a what dead are, goat, right? The thing that reminded me, too, is like, yeah. what was that movie with uh, Dirty Harry when he's fucking the old guy, or the mule? So it made me think of that. He's fucking the mule. The mule. He's not fucking a mule. The mule, the movie. <laughs> mule. Oh, I yeah. haven't seen that. Yeah. With fucking, or the what's mule? his name oh, fucking directed yeah, it? Oh, yeah, I can't well, imagine. Clint, Clint, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Good? He yeah. was, it was all right. It was, it was good. It? Bradley Cooper's in it. It was good. The mule. I've seen it. Though. Okay, I've I, seen, I gotta yeah, watch I've it. But basically, he's an old dude, and he's basically a drug runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's that's like dude, retired. The, the cover is a hit. one years old. This guy was the That's cover. I, it's the know, cover. Know, it's now, yeah, now you get the, the cover of him is him bend, bending down up forward. The cover of the taking. Uh, yes, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I know. What but you're it, it is a weird ending if you've seen the movie when you see uh, it. Uh, the inside of the it. box was loosely wrapped with frozen meat, multiple small pieces of meat frozen together. Wow, I wonder what ticked him off though. What do you mean? What made him do this? Yeah, investigators smelled the odor of rotting meat as it thawed. The police dog then detected the presence of drugs. Damn. That sucks. Why are you bringing fucking... If he was in Alaska... shit back up. If he was in Alaska, <laughs> maybe he went hunting. Like yeah. He hunting, oh, that's, that's what he was trying selling to... selling it. Yeah, but... You would have know. that shipped, wouldn't you? I don't know. I don't drug run anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We need to get some hunters on and and, yeah, and, yeah, and some, probe them yeah. with some questions. So if you were in Wyoming yeah, and you, and you hunted bring... a big-ass bear, would you ship the meat? So I think I would find somebody there to, like, you know, cut it up do and it do up their and... Do the flays and shit, the flays or whatever. Pack it up for you? Yeah. Because I know that, that, like, that's huge in Wisconsin. After you go hunting and get a deer or a doe or whatever. Uh, yeah. Next thing, you, next thing you know, you're at the fucking butcher shop, and they're and they're like, "Yeah, I'll do this for a hundred bucks or whatever." And mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you got fucking deer steaks and shit, meat for days, and then you have the meat sweats. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have them on eventually. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, wow, we're just like blowing through the agenda here, gentlemen. Blowing through. Yeah. I was already eight, bro. We've been here for an hour. Oh, oh no, no, no. We were. We me and I've Mark been here for me, more than a fucking hour. Me and Mark have. <laughs> Um. So oh, still... Paco said, "I'll see you guys later." Hyper, Hyper Broly is uh, is live. Uh, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Who said that? Paco, Paco said that. Nice. <laughs> Makes the show better. <laughs> That's good. Though. Hey, keep an eye out. We're gonna be on that show eventually. 
So oh, the, other, the other news you had was your Wisconsin news, basically, mm. that always kind of... Yeah, I wanted to actually bring this up uh, at some point while we're at the Tamale Festival, too, because Paco is a... Not Paco. Culver's? Uh, no, this story. Oh, okay. Um, Santiago used to be a huge uh, Whataburger fan. Uh, okay. Used so, to. Yeah, because yeah, a gross. Chicago company bought them. Whataburger so, used to be based out of Texas. Uh-huh. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. So Culver's beat In N Out as the America's best burger with America's best burger. So what is? Oh shit! We're gonna really talk about Pope Francis. Yeah, but what? Fuck yeah, what, we are. Dude. Hey, but oh. what, what? What is? Why not? What is In N Out? We're gonna do it before the Will Ferrell. Culver with with what a burger? The burgers. Okay. Cul- Culver's had sells burgers too. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. Wait, what does what? that got to do with uh, so, Santiago? So the funny thing oh, is, the one, love because he thinks Whataburger used to be like the best. Okay, and obviously. And I told you guys, I went there the other day or like a yeah, couple weeks garbage. ago. Remember, mm, it's garbage. I went there yeah. after we did a thing here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, was, I remember. Oh my god! Like I used to, I liked it early. In, Me too. When I was young. Yeah, when I was younger, <laughs> I guess. It's it's disgusting. I could say that. It's disgusting. And I went there and I was like, "This is fucking horrible." Yeah. And it was packed in there. I think it was really? packed. There was tons of people in there inside uh, eating. Sorry, I don't. Not a big. And fan. I was like disappointed as fuck. Where's the agenda again? Oh, I didn't. I didn't type it out. No. Yeah. Oh. I just wrote it on here. But if you go to like the bottom of where we were on things, or, mm-hmm. then that's the last couple ones. Oh yeah. So, but it's funny because one thing is this is a Wisconsin company, right, or yeah. something? Culver, right? Culver yeah. space out of Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. So I was making fun of you before we started because. All your news, oh, as of lately, is yeah. Been Wisconsin. Everything has been like feeding you Wisconsin <laughs> shit. So everything you're putting onto the agenda is like Wisconsin news. Yeah, maybe I'm homesick or something. Or I don't something. know. I just think that when you click on stuff, I highly maybe, doubt that. Or but... maybe if you're clicking on like Packer news, yeah, I think that your phone's starting to like say like, oh, this guy likes Wisconsin. Dude. He likes cheese and sour cream and shit. Yeah. Not only was Culver's top among burger chains. Yeah, I see that too. It was third among all quick service chains. That's pretty good. Chick-fil-A and Tropical Smoothie Cafe what were rated f- number one and two what the for fuck that. Is, what the fuck is Tropical Smoothie Cafe? I don't know. We'll have to look that you up. You know what that is? Road trip. No. For real. Wow, they did it. 100,000 100, customers are used to calculate the overall score. Wow. So it's a pretty good database I, I of like, people, right? I like Culver's. Culver's, I think I think Culver's is better than In N Out. I would agree hands yeah. down. Yeah. I don't I'm not a big fan. When In N Out came, I wasn't a big fan. You know, the lines were crazy and they're still kind of crazy, but I I wouldn't go out of my way, kinda like how we have now the uh Oh, you don't like In N Out? No. Compared to Culver's? No, In N Out. Culver's is better. Oh wow. Yeah. I you know, mean, I don't think I've ever been to Culver's. Really? It's yeah. good. It's good. If I had a if company I had a, lunch, if I had to compare, you have to do a company lunch and then <laughs> Culver's is better. <laughs> I've never had so the new place that's here in Arizona locally is that uh, little fucking slider. What is it? Oh, White Did you Castle. Guys go White Castle. Did you go? No, yeah. I've, I've, I've been, what'd, you, what'd you think? I don't like. Uh, yeah. Nasty. Have you been to it yet? Like I've only had the frozen well, ones. I've never he, had. No. He brought some when we we did a, a call night together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he, yeah. Brought, he brought. Well, I bought one of the, the big boxes. Mm-hmm. The thirty dollars one, thirty burgers, thirty yeah. of them, and I yeah. had a lot of them left over. So, uh, but, but I, I didn't I, think they put were him, like put, you know, him, put them in the freezer. I don't think I, I I probably won't ever go there again. Well, yeah, but way oh. back in the past, uh, I went. I I was paid to go train in New York. Oh, did you have him there? Yeah, and I had him at like 4 a.m. when I was like super drunk walking around Times Square. Yeah, see, that's different. They, they were amazing, amazing then. You will eat anything. Yeah, they're <laughs> super drunk. I <laughs> even had like a flaffle thing or whatever they call them. The shawarma, shawarma. I mean, they, they do, cart, yeah, they do, have, they, yeah, they, they do have different stuff. I just got the regular White Castle. Yeah. It's just a burger and the cheese and yep. the onions and the. But they have like the little ones, but they have tomatoes and onions and lettuce and all that stuff. Like yeah, that burger. one was better. I didn't, I didn't have it. Oh, yeah. But you know, I just wanted to experience the White yeah, Castle. Yeah. Right, right, right. And, when I, and that's, I don't go. get the fucking lines. Next. I mean, oh yeah, and it, it was it, we were there for about crazy. an hour. It's because it's the May. first one. Yeah, they're gonna build another saying. one already. Yeah. Well, obviously the big one took off and yeah, fucking did all its crazy fun. But I went stuff. there about what like two weeks ago. Yeah, was yeah, like two weeks yeah. It was two weeks ago. And uh, it's right next. It's right next to um, 
the medieval. Oh, nice. Which we need to go and do yeah. and like report back on that. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's right. Ne- right. Man, right I want to go do that so bad. Like I've been to the one. Straight from it. But. I've been to the one in Chicago, and then I've been to the one. I've been to any of them. I've the only one I've seen is been. the one yeah, from your favorite the cable movie. Guy. Your favorite oh, yeah. movie. And I've been to that. That's the Buena Park one. I've been there. That's, oh, that's the one you yeah, went to? That's fucking awesome. Yeah, is I've it been really? That one in, I've been in the one in Chicago. It's, it's, Tim, it's a good show, dude. It's a dinner and never, a show. Yeah, dinner never, and a show. Never it's, been it's to either one. Dinner and a movie all in yeah. one. Was Jim Carrey there? It's a good time. No, he wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> was the cable guy there, bro? Oh, no. <laughs> Someone's some um, cable guy was there. How's pricey on it? It's expensive. Is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's like 50 or 60 bucks a person. Yeah. Oh really? And then alcohol is you know regular nightclub. I think I only have one kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so I'd be like about 150 bucks. Yeah, just at least like regular. Just yeah, if you took you took your wife or whatever and, and my yeah. son. Yeah, it would be pretty expensive. Yeah, wow. but yeah. it's worth it's when, worth it. Dude. Yeah, I, it is. When I go, I'm, well, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna it. try. You, spend, you go to a movie with your kid, right? And then you get fucking uh, and concession go, stand shit. Like yeah, but not only that, eighty bucks. Dude, yeah, right there. and then you also go to dinner before that. Yeah, exactly. That's another fifth, sixty, it's seventy bucks. Sa- it's the same. It's yeah, yeah. you right. feel like you're getting more because you're going two different places, but yeah, you're not. You're still paying yeah. up the yin yang. And it's it's like a two hour show, dude. It's not like you just like. So what, what is it that they serve you like? Uh, do they do the no utensils? Mm, you get to ask for utensils? No, the Buena Park one. I, I they gave us utensils. I oh, think they okay. changed that. But, but I do remember when I went to the Chicago one because I went as a kid. We ate with our bare hands. I don't did remember. you guys? Yeah, I don't really? Remember. I don't think they're gonna have that here. Yeah, no, no. Sale, no. Hell no, man. <laughs> I'm uh, uh, but yeah. can you send yes. someone over to yeah. feed me? Can you go to the the Shire and get me a spoon and fork, or at yeah. least a spork? Yeah, for real. <laughs> but do they serve you like uh, since it's a two hour show? Yeah, uh, like separate meals? Oh yeah, no, it's a whole a whole course thing. You know, really? You, start, you get your starter dessert and, you, and everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna they go. give you a fucking little paper crown like you're at Burger King and everything. Nice. Oh shit! I, then you have yeah. to root for whatever side. Well, you've seen the movie. That's how I know. It's you the root colors. for the side. Yeah, I wonder if, I, the side. if they'll let me go in there and do the show like Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> if cost, I hook, if I hook him up with cable. Yeah, if I hook him up with cable. That was, that uh, action, yeah. what was that guy that... Uh, Matthew Broadwick. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. But the guy that was uh, it, supposedly the one that got him into the show. Um, I don't remember that, that part. Uh, he's, a, he's got glasses. He's a comedian. Uh, something Andy? Uh, Andy Kaufman. Andy Kaufman. No. Andy, Blonde guy. Andy Richter? No. Uh, Andy Dick. Andy Dick, uh, I think it is. Yeah, remember he's like, you better listen to what he says, dude. He's serious and he gets yeah, the horse. Yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> he's serious. <laughs> that guy's Andy, funny, too. Andy Dick. He's funny. <laughs> There's guy, like nightmare stories about him in the, com- in the comedy world. Yeah, he's a crazy Really? Dude. Yeah. If you listen to some of the podcasts uh, that are out there, dude, <laughs> that, like uh, Tom Segura's podcast... Uh, Tony Hinchcliffe's uh, Kill Tony, and then uh, what about Rogue, Andy Dick? Rogan, yeah, about Andy Dick. They talking. Yeah, they have uh, even you know fucking uh, Burt Kreischer's podcast. They talk about it. Oh yeah, that yeah. what he's like out there. Yeah, well, he's no, crazy. Dude. He's, he's like, like always yeah, big on drugs. Done, yeah, he's done like drugs at Red Band's house when all the show like Joe Rogan started his his podcast at Red Band's house. Mm. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they'd be doing drugs at his house. Wow. I can't do this with my wife around anymore. <laughs> That's crazy. Things you hear. All right. Things well, let's get hear. into the, like the so. Uh, no, not yet. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, we'll yeah. do it. Let's okay. Do it. Well, I mean, so crazy it? news. Still, <laughs> eyewitness testify: Pope Francis raped and killed children. Sealed Vatican documents expose their satanic rituals. Oh my God! What the crap? Yeah, yeah. Me, so this is crazy news. I need to bring that up. It's in the it's agenda. In the agenda. It's the very last thing. God. So I was reading this thing, thinking it's not true. I don't know if it is or it's not. I uh, my thing is dude. when I when we're talking off like off topic, like I'm like, why don't we the hear only, more about dude, this? The only place that's turning a blind eye to this is the United States. No way. There's yes. gonna be other places too. Yes, but dude. what I mean. We know why no one's hearing about it in probably most places. Yeah. Is because it's religious based and they're going to protect that. They've been protecting them for years. Forever. Years. Ever. Yeah, I know. It's horrible. Decades. 
And it's basically the story is like, so last month there was a report that Pope Francis was involved in 2009 where he was around, basically they're like, they do this, this sacrifice children ritual. Are you kidding? No, <laughs> no this is, I mean, true. I don't know if I, again, I don't know if this is, I mean, the source is, I don't know if the source is legit or not, but. <laughs> wow, that's insane, bro. But if it is real, it's pretty fucked up. So I definitely suggest I, looking it, into it. If you're, you know, if you're in this. At least, in, minimum, in, it's in, like in a the good cap. conspiracy yeah, theory type Either way, thing. Like yeah. If, if you're in like a good conspiracy. So. Which is a good wormhole to jump through. There's a, there's a YouTube video that said there's an eyewitness that basically does her recount, recount of the situation. Yeah. And I Which, mean, it I mean, seems legit. Like it's like it's pretty messed up. Why her? <laughs> That's true. That's oh. why it kind of makes me feel like it's real, because yeah. What like, do you mean, you like why her? It, you're not gonna suspect uh, her. Yeah, yet. yeah. She looks like she's. I don't know. She could be telling the truth. <laughs> it's it. That's what that's what sucks. The world that we're in, that like, you don't yeah, know what's yeah. true. Like you don't know what to believe or not. This could be no. This fake could be, news, could be, right? I don't be. know. But but I wouldn't. But I wouldn't them. exactly. But the this church. is the this is the pope that we're supposed to like though because is this he's the, like is so this the active he's dude? so progressive. Is this the active dude? Yeah. So yeah, that's what kind of sucks. Or maybe he's, he's the not one, the active one. Because or unless it's the old guy. There's so many popes, dude. How many Especially, popes have there been in our lifetime? Albert, you I would know. know. Why? <laughs> Oh wait, aren't you a quarter minute ago? Yeah. Well, oh, you claim I'll, to be. I know some of them. <laughs> you claim to be. Yeah, you wanna, I'm gonna ruin my nana in next he only week. Claims it when you're around. I know. Like, I know. He does. My nana's coming next week. See, look. She's only, when I'm, only when I'm around. She's a guest next week. She's gonna fucking ramble. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's say. Uh, I would say what, like two or three of them. <laughs> no, there's not only been three popes. No, well, no, we've been around. Yeah, oh, been around. no, there's been more than that. Really? Yeah, because the ones recently, they keep getting turned over quickly. Oh, crap. There was John Paul. He was the big one. He was there yeah. for a while. Yeah, that's, that's the, the main one. Like, he was the good one, I yeah. guess. Probably, he probably has tons of fucking skeletons. <laughs> and then, you know what I mean? The, the good ones are definitely the ones that were fucking yeah. doing bad things. No one heard about shit. They knew better to cross them. Uh, John Paul was done in 05. Oh five, and then yeah, and then I, and then I think we had so you could be right, could be three, yeah, or, like four, three or four, three or four. There's yeah. currently not a pope. What? what? Oh, because well, this guy's in trouble. Well, it's it ends at 2013, <laughs> and that's Francis oh. Benedict the 95th. That's when they stopped believing in the internet. <laughs> Catholic Church Maybe. denies the internet. Damn, dude, Wikipedia goes way back. Dude. Wow, there's been 266 popes. See, a lot. Damn. But if this is the legit guy, because he's the one that's like for gay marriage, maybe this could be a, cons a conspiracy thing yeah. with the believers that they're trying to make him out to be a fucking monster when he's trying to change everything for the gays and the, the priests to get married and shit. Yeah. That's what is. If, it, if, it, if this is the, the current dude, <laughs> I don't know. Every Pope uh, list. Because that is what I, I've heard that he's trying to do. Okay, so make it more mainstream, you know. Uh, so yeah, 2013 till now, dude. Yeah, the it's, current pope is George Fran Mario yeah. Bajolio. Oh, so it's not this dude. It's no, Francis. Pope Francis. Whatever. So he was the dude Francis, that was there for Francis a little bit. One. He was there for a little bit. So 2005 right? to 2013. Yeah, it's Benedict. This is the guy. That's I think, who, that's the guy that we're talking about. So that. The 13, 2013, the one that ended in 2013. 2013, yeah. okay. Yeah, so for, and now it's 2013 to now it's Francis. So that's the good guy. Okay. I don't know. Well, this guy's <laughs> name, this guy's a Francis too. Well, they name, they, they rename them. Which numbers after which? Exactly. Yeah. That's <laughs> how they then, keep it confusing. See, and look, see, fucking smart. Yeah, and before yeah. the 2005, 2013, yeah. it was 1978 to 2005. Yeah, see, it was a long yeah, run. Yeah, a long for time. John Paul, right? John or, Paul, too. Yeah. Yep. So. I don't fucking know, but yeah, I mean, if it, if this is the good guy, yeah, it's probably you know conspiracy theorist thoughts, or it's probably someone in the church trying to sway things to make it to where he's an asshole. That's pretty big asshole news <laughs> um, to make him look like a monster. Damn. Obviously, wow, this shit goes way back. Yeah, yeah, I told dude, you, dude. 
Dude, to zero. It goes yeah, to zero. To zero. Well, they literally wow. they started the fucking well, what, calendar. Yeah, what they believe is they zero. They started what zero was. Thirty to sixty uh, years. Thirty to sixty-four. Yeah. Saint Peter. Saint Peter killed Jesus. Mm -hmm. Wow, just that's, that's crazy, not, bro. That's not what happened. But. Breaking news. <laughs> Two and a half amigos. <laughs> you heard it here that's first, insane, folks. Insane, man. But yeah, this is crazy news. If it is true. It's if, dude, and you know what is crazy, even more crazy about it? It, it kind of circles back to the whole Epstein thing. Cause it's part, in, it's in part of that. It's all these. He's like one of the top oh, echelon, yeah, like, yeah, you can't, pedophiles. Yeah. Well, Epstein. Well, yeah, well, well, no, he was. the Pope. Too, oh, yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like it's Basically all high, this big high hybrid, figure, fucking high figures with top dollar. You know what? Else, what other conspiracy it feeds into that? What's there's that? a fucking like world community that's like. Uh, you know, basically controlling everything in the world. I believe that. I believe that. I don't think and the it's part of that pedophile. Right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't so, believe... so this guy that we're talking about, Pope Francis rape, that's the one right now. Hmm? So it yes. is that one. Oh, it has the same numbers. No, See, well, it's we Fran don't even know. It's Fra no, it's Francis. The before that one yeah, was Benedict. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Benedict was the one that got in trouble and like walked away. So he, he was in 2013. Yeah, and then, that's the one that and got, then Francis, was, he's the one right now. And he's <laughs> accused of it. So that means, like a conspiracy, what Dude. I'm thinking is, because he's trying Jeez. to change things. He's you know trying we're to make all going to die, right? Oh, because they're going to be after us? Yeah, because we're talking about it. And it's we're on the internet. And we're in it's Mesa. already on the internet. Oh, my God. And we're in Mesa, and there's tons of Catholics here. Albert, right? And oh, yeah, you're Mormon, huh? Sorry, yeah, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my Jesus wears blonde hair. <laughs> His name is John Smith. Francis, yeah. Francis Raven killed children. Wow, that's the current Pope. <laughs> that's dude. crazy. Yeah. I hope uh I hope it's not true. Obviously, for all the all the know. craziness involved. Because I mean killing kids sacrificing kids. That's tough, that's man. fucked up. Obviously. But they're going back there. What are they yeah. sacrificing him for? You know? That's what I want to know. It was yeah. it was a it was like a satanic that, well, that's what I'm asking. Like, okay, well, what do you get out of it? Yeah, supposedly. Well, I don't know. Like, fucking a good yield and fucking potatoes. I don't know. They do stupid <laughs> shit. <laughs> Look at, this is for our they, next harvest. Yeah, they, exactly. They do you stupid shit die. like that. Yeah, you have to kill like five. First, kids I to, need to rape you, but then yeah, you die. And then you die. And what then, the fuck? And then dude? we and then we yeah. get tons of water for years mm -hmm. for some stupid shit. And then you got Bill Cosby coming out saying that he didn't, he regrets nothing, dude. It's all part of the same fucking is, ring, man. It is. They're all, they're all. There's a huge ring homies. of pedophiles. And According to witness, Pope Francis, former Pope Joseph Ratzinger, Jesuit Superior General Adolfo Pachon, and Anglican Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby were participants in the Ninth Circle Satanic Child Sacrifice Cult Rape and Killing of Children. That is so, that's fucking. so fucking unreal. That is the dude. worst yeah. phrase to say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. That yeah. was Scott. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. What I mean, like, to ever have your name associated with it. Yeah, yeah I know. You know what I mean? That's like, tough. wow. That's fucking insane. Hopefully it's... And it's just being just pushed right under a rug. Like, no, it's not That's even what I mean. Like, I've like, never, I've never heard this. It's fucking horrible, man. Yeah. You don't hear shit. It's not on any of the major networks. No. Nothing. You don't hear nothing about that. You don't even hear anything about Epstein anymore on the major networks. Like, oh, fucking... that's why they brought this. What happened? So they can forget about Epstein. Yeah. <laughs> no. Epstein didn't kill himself. That's true. <laughs> well, well, you heard about the guards recently. Did we talk about the guards? How the guards got in trouble? Yeah, they yeah, got they arrested. In yeah, yeah. They got in trouble. I think we mentioned that. I think we talked yeah, about it. Yeah. Or we talked about it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's all fucking blurs together. That's insane, man. Do you think that? Um, no, I don't. Not Will Ferrell, but uh, oh yeah, the other guy, Who? Christopher Walken. Christopher, Christopher Walken. Walken. Do you yeah. think he really meant that though? What? So, so yeah, the other. Oh yeah, what did what did he say so about? He's mad because that whole you know the cowbell thing, right? Why? What did he? Okay, Why? okay, it made you famous. Well, what? Exactly. What is he mad? What, what is he Put mad about it? Spotlight. What is he mad about it? He says that it, it ruined, ruined it ruined his career. Yeah. In what? In what way? I mean, he already had an awesome career leading up to it. I think it would only rejuvenate, like you're saying. Yeah, rejuvenate his career. Make it kind of uh, spark back up. I think it's a shock up. value thing. Yeah, he's just trying to, he's looking for a new job or, I don't know. That doesn't make he's sense. Old as, he's old anyway. Because even after that, he made great movies. He did. So uh, why the fuck is he saying that? Fucking Balls of Fury was hilarious. Yeah. Was pretty funny. Uh, Joe Dirt. 
Yeah, he was in Joe uh, Dirt. He was in with Denzel Washington when with that little girl that they um that they were in Tijuana. And do you think they maybe typecast? He felt he got typecasted because he needed to be in these funny movies versus being. But in that's on him roles. to choose uh, yeah, that what he wants to be in. Yeah. But in that, even that one with that, like I said, with Denzel, that was a serious that movie. That was a serious movie, yeah. Yeah, and he, it was a great movie. Twenty dollars is twenty dollars. So I think he's just. Uh, well, I don't what? know. I wonder what. I wonder what. Looking at is. a picture, just like because you, you know, when you you see the like the like he just looks old, you know, Christopher Walk. I mean, because they just get old. Maybe you, he was you, you just grumpy of, and he was about to yell, "Get off my lawn!" Yeah, but then he said, "Will Ferrell ruin gotta, my career?" You got to think like their their careers last like. Forever. 40 50 years so right? that, when you're that big. when you're that good yeah right? yeah definitely so I like agree. you go from like my being, career has lasted at least that exactly in your time traveling <laughs> multiple days multiple yeah times. there you go you my time traveling all over time, time so like you got to think like how crazy it must be like you, you know when you're younger you're just partying and having a good yeah, time yeah. oh so you and think then you get gonna, older yeah. and you're just like fucking shut he, up yeah he might even get the fuck he should have got the reference he was around in the 70s or yeah i'm pretty sure he did i'm pretty sure he did but it's like you know, he. I think he's just he, he, like you're saying. He could be a grumpy fucking old dude <laughs> at this point. I mean, you're yeah. old, and like you're. He's 76. Like, what do you want to do when you're 76? You just want to watch fucking Jeopardy and go to sleep. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? Yep. Uh, I would imagine that's what I'm gonna plan to do. Yeah, unless he went on on there, not wanting to. He's like, fuck, I was so fucking comfortable at home. Now I gotta do this. Bullshit. You mean for Saturday Night Live? Mm-hmm. Before no, the episode, like, because no, that's no, what no. I mean. Where did he go up and say? Oh no! What, what oh, he was oh, where he was Fallon, the right? Or, or not Jimmy? Well, Fallon, it was Will Ferrell. Shows. It was Will Ferrell that said it. I thought on Jimmy Fallon. What? No, oh, it was Christopher Walken. Christopher that Walken said, said it. Yeah. it? On why would Jimmy Fallon? Can would you he, yeah. look at your own article? Like I actually read it, and Good there's job. a video and shit. Good job, guys. Thanks, Scott. See, Good it job. even plays it in our chat. It's Christopher Walken and Jimmy Fallon. Oh, my yeah. God. Where do you go? Where Does he play it? <laughs> Very scary. Yeah. Oh, is it scary? Sure. No. What are you scared about? Well, you know, it's live. It's like um, a football game. You know, you get ready and then you don't know. It. I've, I've never had to talk about stuff uh, before it's done. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, every time you do a movie, yeah, it's yeah you see it or you don't see it, and you know, yeah, because you got to be. But it, it hasn't happened yet, so no. you talk about it. It's well, he's talking about a Peter clip. Pan play right now. It's, it's live. It actually didn't happen yet. Yeah, but you're rehearsing. You've been rehearsing for a while now, right? Today I rehearsed. And are you and uh, uh, and you do, is uh, singing as well, right? Singing, dancing, you play the scenes. You're a great fighting. dancer. Oh my gosh! I'd love and to watch also, you. you're doing all this stuff with the aerial, you know, flying and Peter Pan live. I cannot wait for this. It did, he doesn't even say it in the video. So oh, then it must have been Will. Well, Ferrell. because it says Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell reveals Chris This Walken fucking guy he told me. him. Oh, he ruined. Oh him, yeah, man. read the fucking shit. He told. Uh, Chris, so uh, you think guy. he's certain drama then? So no, Will, I just think he just Will, Will Ferrell is the one that said he said he told him. Yeah, but he Will told, Ferrell says shit just to say shit. Sometimes well, either, either way, it's maybe just trying to get him a fucking job. I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, Chris. Oh, Walken here we go. Here, here's the Will Ferrell one, but I don't know if he said it. You know, he was actually Ferrell the then told Jimmy, and I think, and I think, and I think <laughs> he was really mad at me. He had a little smile, but. Oh, yeah, we're getting quiet. Yeah. So, to summarize, I After think you're playing the thing. Okay. I think it's a good set. Dude, it's yeah, hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. This first track down. By the way, my name is Bruce Dickinson. Yes, <laughs> the... Bruce Dickinson. <laughs> See? Yes, he's perfect. What appears to be a dynamite sound. Coming from you, Bruce, that means a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're Bruce Dickinson. This is incredible. I can't believe Bruce Dickinson digs our sound. Easy, guys. I put my pants on, just like the rest of you, one leg at a time. <laughs> Except once my pants are on, I make gold records. <laughs> right. Albert was part of the audience. Fear, don't fear the reaper. Take one. Go. All right. 
One, two, three, Except after I put my pants on, I make gold record. <laughs> Nobody else can say that. Yeah. All right, stop, stop. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> no, everyone, I, everyone gets it. Everyone knows. No, that's what he's going to say. Okay, stop. stop, stop. Oh, oh, but yeah, yeah, everyone knows. So, so Farrell, Farrell on Jimmy basically said that he was really mad and he had a smile, like Albert was saying. Yeah. And then he kind of said that he's sick of it. And then on Thursday evening, oh, wait, no, what? what? <laughs> just, either way, dude. Either way, it was whatever. It's funny. It's Hollywood drama. It is drama. funny. Yeah. I don't think he really was mad. And if he was, I mean, everyone loved him for it. Like, yeah. He sparked a new generation of people that liked him because of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I agree. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I think. Right. So he, there's no know, way. But... He sparked a new generation of people that hate Jilly Fan. Uh, Jilly. Jilly, Jilly, Jilly Fallon. I can't even say his name. And Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, yeah it's true. Because Jimmy Fallon, that sketch, kept laughing the whole fucking time. If you ever watched yeah, it, yeah, I know. He cracks he up the he whole time. He could keep a straight face. The worst place. comedian ever. He was <laughs> fucking worst. He's, he could not keep a straight face in most of his skits. Skitch, skits, skits, whatever. Skits, skits, sketches, sketches. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetto. Oh, oh that's po- the same as tomato. Pope Francis. Tomato. Yeah. <laughs> spaghetti, spaghetto, tomato, tomato. There you go. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. All right, are we wrapping it up? Do you want I don't know, are we else? wrapping it up? Yeah. <laughs> she she asked me to. Nice. Yeah, so. Oh, my watch is dead. Who asked you to? The, the, oh, oh, put him on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> the lady that I'm going to have relations with nice. asked me to wrap it up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, what were we talking about? That same oh, man. ending the show. That same oh, not dude, having the same, sex. The same my dude. bad. No, I thought we were alone. talking about we were men. We didn't have to worry about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of a good comeback. And you, you, you caught me off guard. That's what you did. And I was like, uh, oh, not quick enough. Damn it. And then I stole, you know, stuttered, stopped, frozen, Hello? dead. Hello? You okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a stroke? Yeah. This is a fucking stroke? I'm in a diabetic how many, coma. How many, how many letters am I saying? <laughs> What the I don't know. I was trying to figure out what are the what are the, how do you diagnose a stroke? I don't know. I don't know how you do that either. <laughs> yeah. We gotta we gotta listen team. to more. We gotta listen to more fucking PSAs or something like that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. There's got to be an acronym to fucking help people. So online, we're gonna. I'm gonna try to figure out that shit so we can get things going on, Our, on, online. Look crazy with an intro and all that other stuff. <laughs> Cool beans. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, Albert, what did you say? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it was for crap, sure. Bro, for sure what? Where is the fucking outro? I always gotta, lose it. You got to name those things better. I do. Yeah, well, I need to like, put them in like folders or something. Yeah, like, or just like, name them outro and not like yeah. fucking. I did. Like, oh, there it is. Test one. Yeah, test well, yeah, like. There's a test in there? I don't no. know. Probably. <laughs> well, you probably do have something like that on there. Applesauce too. No, it's it's like there's there's the intro, right? Bullshit. Friday's lunch. Then there's what the fuck whole, is that? Yeah, Bullshit. there's a whole bunch of porn. Yeah, and that's then true. it's the outro. And you that's gotta like, filter through the porn and figure out you know, like, do I want little people porn? Do I want little people porn? Hugs and kisses. 